Hi, my name is Evan Macknick and I'm graduating from Florida State University with a bachelor's degree in information technology. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy a simple web server using XAMPP as well as set up a dynamic IP address through DynDNS. This video is for anyone who wants an easy way to run a web server but doesn't have the time to sift through tutorials for relevant information. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open your preferred web browser and go ahead and navigate to www.apachefriends.org slash en slash zamp.html Once the page loads, scroll down and click on the link that says ZAMP for Windows. And we'll go ahead and click on the link that says Installer. And you can either go ahead and save it and then run or just run it from its current location. But since I've already saved it, I'll go ahead and open it. And click on English for me. Click OK. Then go ahead and click Next and install Apache, MySQL, and FileZilla as services. And Next, and let it run through the installer. And we'll go ahead and click finish. And we're finished with the installation. And you can go ahead and use the control panel here to configure your services. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and move on from here. Go ahead and go to localhost just to make sure everything's up and running correctly. And if everything worked, you should be up and running and you should see this screen. Now we'll go to www dot dynedns.com go ahead and create an account or log in if you already have an account and go ahead and click on my services and since I've already configured a host name then I just want to set my IP address to be used with that host name. Click on Save Changes. Now we're going to go ahead and go to Support, and we have to download the DynDNS Updater. So click on Download Now. Click Next. I agree. And finish. And all we have to do is basically it'll t it'll detect if you have an account after you sign in. It'll detect which host name you want to use, so we'll click that and click apply. And now we have our updater running as well. Next thing we're going to do is set up the Linksys 
router to go ahead and route to the correct IP. So we'll go down to static IP assign. And next thing I want to do is open a command prompt and find out which IP we are is configured for the network card. So run IP config slash all and look for the network card you want to use. I'm just going to go ahead and use my wireless one. So make note of the physical address, which is your MAC address, and that's what we're going to use to assign a static IP. So after you fill everything out, click continue. Then we'll go to applications and gaming. And what we want to do is under an application, I'm going to go ahead and just put web server. You can name it whatever you want. And then since I'm using Comcast service, they like to block port 80, which is what all HTTP connections come in over. So we'll forward all of everything from port 80 to port 81. And go ahead and assign it the IP address of 192.168.0.101 and enable and then save settings and then it'll have to reset it takes about a minute and a half but after everything's up and good again then we can navigate in our browser to our host name and we should be ready to go Now, some things that I haven't discussed in this video is that if you are running a web server, you do need to make some you know, changes for security's sake because you don't want people to be able to come and attack your computer. Um, but there are lots of tutorials out there for that stuff, so I'm not going to go into detail here. This is just basically to get an idea and show you how easy it is to get a web server up and running. So you know, if you're a freelancer and you just want somebody to be able to look at some of the work you're working on for your a website, they can easily go to that address and see any anything that you uh, have in your folder. That's it for my video presentation. Thank you very much.